Alright, uh, so what you need to understand is greatest common factor is the biggest number that divides both terms. I have two examples. One deals with strictly numbers and the other one incorporates variables, those letters that represent numbers eventually. Uh, so with numbers, what number divides 12 and 18 and it's the biggest number you can think of? Top of your head, you can probably think of numbers that do divide both of them like 2, 3, 6, and 2 divides 12, 3 divides 12, 6 divides 12, 2 divides 18, 3 divides 18, 6 divides 18. So you would say 6 is the greatest common factor. But we need to come up with a procedure to show our work because sometimes we're just guessing there might be a bigger number. So what you need to do is think of two numbers that multiply to 12. 6 and 2 for me. All right, 2 here can't be divided by anything else, so I'm going to put a box around it and end it there. Think of two numbers that divide 6. Or that multiply to 6? 3 and 2. Again, I can't split 2 into anything else, so I put a box around it, and I put a box around 3. So 12 is the same thing as 3 times 2 times 2. Now I'm going to do the same thing with 18. I'm going to split it into two numbers that multiply 18. Those two numbers are 9 and 2. 2 can't be multiplied by anything else, so box it. That's where that branch ends. 9 it is the same thing as 3 times 3. And again, 3 can't be multiplied by two other things. These numbers that I'm boxing are called prime numbers. Numbers only divisible by 1 and itself. So from 12, we got the list 3 times 2 times 2. From 18, we got the list 3 times 3 times 2. Now what we're looking for is what do they have in common? They have this one 3 in common here. And they have one of the 2s in common. So the greatest common factor of 12 and 18 is 3 times 2. I get it from finding what they have in common, which is 6.